Hey guys, I am surrounded by bags. I went to consignment stores, thrift stores, so stick around to see what I picked up to sell. Hello everybody and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I sell in sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, volleyball player, and I love Disney. So what I mean by reselling, if you are new to this, is I go to thrift stores, consignment stores, garage sales, things like that. I find items that I think I can sell for more than I bought them for, and I list them online and I make money. So I use my money for groceries, my kids' sports, going out to eat, going on vacations, all kinds of stuff like that. My next big thing I'm saving up for is to pay off my car. We're trying to pay off my car and my husband's car, and then we're gonna look for a new place to live, hopefully a home. We're staying in the same area. I've just lived in the same house for the whole time I've been married. So I'm ready to move. My husband isn't really super excited about it, but he's a nice husband and he's doing it because I want to. So anyway, we are going to get into this. If you liked reseller content like thrift hauls, what sold videos, mystery unboxings, hit the subscribe button down below with the bell next to it. That way you get notifications every time I put out new videos. And if you could right now for me, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. I am getting closer to 800 subscribers, which is my next goal. So we're going to go through this stuff. This actually is everything. I have three more huge bags in the back of my car, but I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So I might do that in a different video. So if you see anything you like, make sure you just uh, message me on Instagram or you can email me and we could work out a deal hopefully off site. So let's just get into this. Um, some people ask about my cost of goods. I really usually don't care about sharing them. Like I have no issue with it, but sometimes I don't remember. But these ones, a lot of times I think it says the price on here. So if I do remember, I'll let you guys know. I mean, I don't know why I said that. If I do remember, like the tag's literally right here. But most of my Goodwill stuff is $3.59, $5.49. Like this is $5.49. So I don't hardly pay for very much for cost of goods. Where I will pay up more possibly is like consignment stores. So this is $5.49, a Lauren Ralph Lauren new with tags puffer vest. If it wasn't new with tags, I don't know if I would have gotten it. I mean, maybe because it's a great season for it. Um, I don't pick up this brand a ton. But like I said, being the season and new with tags, it retailed for $100. So that's gonna be good, hopefully for Christmas. This video is coming out on Sunday and I'm actually coming home Sunday from North Carolina with my husband. But right now I am trying to film all of this Thursday. I'm gonna take a whole bunch of pictures and write down measurements and that way when I'm in the airport Friday and Sunday, I can do my work and I don't have to miss out on much. This is the brand Just Black, which I get sometimes, but this is a size 31, which I like. I don't know the style of them. They look like a crop distressed ankle jean. Um, yeah, so those are nice. They feel really soft and comfortable. I got this Sherpa vest. This is Kalia Carrie Underwood, which I don't get all the time, but I will pick up for certain pieces. I just thought this was a really good time to be listing something like this. And it's in really nice condition, size extra small. I think these few items were from Accounts of Bluffs Goodwill, which is where I live in Iowa. It's just not very good typically, but if I am bored and I have some time, I will stop there. This is Lily Pulitzer size small linen, like lightweight sweater. That'll probably sell like 25 or 30. Let's see, I have some jeans. These are Levi's 7-Eleven skinny. These sell for me around 20, $25. They are a size 29. Just a nice wash, no distressing or anything with these. This was on a rack where people tried stuff on and returned it. So always good to check those. It's Eileen Fisher. I'm unsure of the size because it's cut off. So I'm guessing like a large or extra large, but it is 100% linen, I believe. Yes, 100% linen. So that's great. It seems like a larger size. So I think that'll do well. A billion receipts. I don't know, I don't know why. Okay. This is a pair of athleta pants. These are older, but they are a size large, tall and large, tall. Any ton of tall sizes are great. I know because that's what I have to wear. Navy blue, straight leg, wide leg. Maybe I'll look up the style and those probably will sell quickly. The last time I had extra large, tall, they were flawed and they still sold super fast. So don't be scared to list flawed items. 
This is a pair of Elizabeth and James heels. Now I know this brand is currently sold at Kohl's, but I think this is the style before it was. So those are better to sell. I looked up comps and the style was selling for 30 to $40. Cute like suede fold over peep toe stiletto heel. And these are a size six. Um, these are little kid Keens. They're navy blue, pretty good condition. I paid $4 for these and they are a size 10. This was from the Council of Salvation Army, I remember, because I went through almost all the clothes. Actually, I went through for a while of them and I was finding literally nothing. So I just left, but I did find some good shoes. These are OTBT. Um, I had a couple people on my Instagram ask me about this brand. They actually retail, I think, for over $100. These are in super good condition. They're like a calf hair Mary Jane flat. I don't know if they've been worn. Yeah, I think a little bit, but not much. And these are a size seven and a half. And then the last pair of shoes I got there were these Kings slip-on shoes. They're a size seven and a half. These are gray, neon green, super good condition, possibly new. I don't know if they're not new. They were barely worn. Okay, so that's that bag. Let's see. Here's another bag from a thrift world. These I'm seeing with my husband once. They're Under Armour, but they're like um, super lightweight and no tie. He likes being able to just slip shoes on. So I'm going to see when he gets back from his trip if he wants those. So I'm going to put those somewhere separate. These are Nikes. They are a, kind of a cool um, high top style. They are Nike training, but they kind of feel like that fly knit material where it's really light, which sells super good for me. These are a size nine and a half. I don't know if they're men's or women's. I'm going to have to look up by the style number, but they're super cool, really good condition. And I got these Merrells. These are like a green and yellow Merrell trail hiking outdoor shoes. I always use those three keywords with Merrell. They are a size eight women's. And then I got these Birkenstocks. These are like a silver metallic Birkenstock sandals, cute, pretty good condition. Um, they are a size 36, so that's a ladies five or a men's four, it says, so kind of small, but I think they'll still be worth it. They have a little bit of wear, but not bad. Birkenstocks sell good for me. Okay, let's get into the last pair of thrifted stuff and then we'll get into consignment stuff. These are a pair of Sperry Top Cider boots. I don't get the shoes like the sneakers, but I will get the boots. They sell well for me. They're like a two-tone leather zip-up ankle boots, and these are a size nine. They're super cute. I'm running out of room to put shoes. I've been getting so many shoes lately, but I love selling shoes. Um, another pair of boots. This is the brand Soft, S-O-F-F-T. These are brown leather buckle boots. Let me see what size they are. They're a size seven. So I didn't get this brand too much before, but I think I got some in a thread up shoe box or something and they sold really well. And I was like, you know what? There is certain styles of this brand that can do good. So it's always good not to just write off a brand just because of the brand. Like look to see if there's styles within that brand that are worth it. I got these cowboy boots. These are teal, brown, leather, size 4D. So they are kids, I think. And they're the brand Justin. Justin Boots sells super good for me. And these are in really, really nice condition. So I got those. Okay, now this is consignment store. Nope, some of this is actually thrift store stuff. Actually, I think these three bags are thrift store. Just not like a Goodwill. So the first thing I got was these Acris, Acris pants. I don't know how you say that. They are a size US 8. I think I might send these into thread up because they don't do that good for me. I'm actually like really debating against not sending things to the real real or hardly any. Um, it was already a low enough payout unless you got to a certain like ranking and now it's even lower, like 30%. So there's been like a ton of things that I have that are, I'm like barely making any money. Now there is some stuff that they've sold really well for me. Like Christian Dior is for one thing that I know, but like, ugh, I think I might rather just send all the rest of my stuff to thread up because I'm making good money on ThreadUp. 
I need, I keep saying I need to do a video, but I really need to. Maybe next week when I'm back from North Carolina, I'll make a video on that. Here's the other piece to that. So I probably just send that with the pants. I don't know if they'll price them together. I think I paid like seven bucks for this. Or no, I paid 20 for the set. I paid 20 for the set. But this is a really expensive brand. Okay. Oh, wait, there was a third piece to the set. Here we go. This, look at this tag. And I th is this just for this item? $795. Pullover long sleeve, 100% silk. Like just for this? Or is that like with the jacket? I don't remember. Either way, that's nuts. And like I said, I paid 20 bucks for all three of those pieces. So yeah, but who really pays $795? Not me. I need to like use this for my picture. Okay. And then also at this thrift store, I found a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. They are size large, nice, classic black pull on casual, comfy pants could be used for dress pants. If I actually like went to work somewhere where I had to dress up nice, I probably would wear something comfortable like that. <laughs> pull on and stretchy. I got this BCBG Max Azria. I'm sending this into thread up size medium. I try to send in stuff to thread up. It's like, this was two bucks. That first of all is cheap. So that way if they don't accept it because I don't pay for return assurance or if it doesn't sell for very much, but I try to pick up things that retail like at least over hundred dollars normally or really close to that because I want to be able to still make a good profit off of them. This is Southern Thai. This is my brother. I found some men's stuff at this thrift store as well. So this is a good men's brand to be looking out for. It's just like a blue checkered long sleeve. So I need a separate pile for men's. This is, I don't know. Oh, this is Catherine's. This is Catherine's 4X. A lot of people say no on my stories, but I sell it all the time. This is a cute paisley, um, like ruffle sleeve midi dress, I think. So I'll definitely sell that. And I paid eight for that. This is just a simple Bowden top size eight, UK 12. Black, white striped, long sleeve, good basic. This is a Garnet Hill size small cardigan sweater. Super cute and I think think let me check the fabric this is 100% lamb's wool so I really like that and for the season oh, one more another Bowden top probably the same owner might sell these together I'm not sure this one doesn't have the size right up here so I'm gonna have to look in the middle but this is like a yellow and white striped long sleeve um this purse was at that sale and this is a Montana West purse which is a really good brand to be on the lookout for it's kind of like a western style leather studded I paid five dollars for this so super great deal there it's very clean on the inside this is good I don't know how much it'll go for I'll have to look up comps but yeah I also got some really good shoes at this consign or this thrift store this little random one but I don't think I have my shoe bag with me but I know like the best thing I got from that one was some fry boots for 12 bucks. So I was like, yes. Um, I got this soft, soft joie size medium um, tunic. It's like a sweater with this like plaid coming out. I'm going to see how much it goes for in posh. If it's not over like 30 bucks, I might send it into thread up because I can price it really high. And then, I mean, you can price it super high at first and someone might buy it for 80% off retail, but they might not. And so then you can just lower prices like whenever you want to. But I always started off as high as I can go. Okay, this is Nana, I mean, Nake Tano. Is that how you say that? I've never found this before, but I feel like I see it faked all the time. It's a black hoodie. So it has those little like leather patches everywhere. I've never sold this, but comps looked pretty good. So excited about that, a new brand. This, I think, is going to thread up if I remember right. Yes, yeah, so it's an Eliza J dress. I sold an Eliza J dress on thread up. This is a size 10 petite for really good money, over $100. So 
that's a brand I like to try to send into there. Wow, that's a very bright blue. I just sent a box to throw it up today. I think I have three or four accounts <laughs> because one account only let me donate. It didn't even give me a choice to send. The other account was letting me send stuff in, but it wouldn't let me pay for the three-week processing. So the third account let me send in a kit and pick three-week processing. So I'm like, okay, just got to like work around the system. This is a pair of three times one women's jeans. They're new with tags. I don't super know much about this brand. Let me know if you do, but I only paid $7 for these. Uh, they're a size 30, the styles on there. So I'll look that up, but they look to be like a high rise, like flare with a split leg jean. So I think those are going to do really good. Okay. Here's a little bit more from this last store. These are for my brother, men's new with tags, 501 jeans, and they're a size, uh, 52 by 28. So big, but not very tall. So that's good. Those kind of big sizes, hard to find, can be good to pick up. Also for my brother, a Patagonia men's shirt, size large, nice flannel. Again, for my brother, a Patagonia extra large checkered shirt. He will do good with that. And then the last thing is a men's Pendleton, like almost like a grandpa cardigan wool sweater. Okay, and then the last thing was a consignment store I went to. So let's go through this. This is a super cute, heavy, well-made purse. It is from the brand Tory Burch. I think it was, oh my gosh, I don't remember what it was called. Something Stitch. Samuel Stitch? I don't know. Anyway, flap opening nice inside. It's super pretty. Comps are all over the place. And one of them sold for like $195 pre-owned and then some were down to like 75. So I don't know. I might just start high and see what happens if I get interest. These are a pair of Lululemon leggings. I mean, pants, joggers. I might wear, no, it's not. This is a Lululemon jacket. I'm stupid. I think I got some joggers in there. Anyway, this was clearance down a little bit. It looks like one of the classic like hoodies. Um, it is a size, I don't know, it should be in here somewhere. I'll see if I can find it quick. Otherwise I'm not gonna like waste time on camera. Oh, here we go, it's a size six and it has the little numbers around it. So I'll be able to look up the style with those. But yeah, this is a nice zip up jacket. Since it has those numbers around the size dot, I know that it's newer. I can't tell how much I paid for it because this little tag is cut off since it was clearance. So, I mean, I could look back at my receipt, but this is a Beyond Yoga set and I know I paid only $10 for this. So the leggings are a size medium. They're like blue, um, full length. And then it came with this top tank top. And let me see if that's the same size. Yeah. Size medium. So I think that's going to be great for people looking to get clothes for like workout, uh, you know, new year's resolutions and stuff like that. This is an Armani Collezioni size eight. Um, nice blazer jacket. I probably gonna send this into thread up. I've sold the Armani myself a couple times, but not a ton. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna send that right to thread up. I don't know. It's just a nice option, not having to store everything myself. Here's another receipt. This is a Lululemon long sleeve. This was on clearance, I think for five bucks. And here's the symbol right here, pleated back. Super cute. Um, I don't know the size and I don't know if it's inside here anywhere. I'll have to measure it, but it looks to be like an eight, maybe 10, something like that. I got this Joseph Ribkoff top only because Joseph Ribkoff has been doing super good for me on thread up. This is just like a ruffle sleeve hem top. Um, I've been selling their dresses and their jackets like amazing, over $100, sometimes close to $200. This is CP Shades, amazing brand. This is, feels like linen. So it's a size extra small, 100% linen. Yes, and it has the style back there, so be able to look that up. I love selling CP Shades linen, so I was super excited to find that. Here's the joggers I was talking about. I'm debating on keeping them, keeping them. Um, they're really cute, gray with a stripe. And I think I paid like 20 dollars for these but that's because I thought I might wear them but I don't know because they're not my legs are super long 
Like when I used to wear bootcut jeans and stuff, I'd have to get like a 35 inch inseam. So they're kind of like short on me, but I don't know. Is that kind of the style anyway? Like an ankle style? I can't find the size right off the bat, but since they fit me, I'm assuming they're like a 10. That's what I usually wear. And then the last thing I got were some shoes at this place. And it was the brand Ron White, which I've never really heard of. But they are made in Italy. And they are a size 36. So I might sell these myself. I might send them to thread up. Don't know. Okay, guys, that's my haul. 20 minutes looks like not too bad. I definitely would have been way longer if I had all the rest of my stuff. So let me know again if you see anything that you like. And I'll see you guys again on Tuesday for another video. Bye, guys.